All right, real quick. I just wanted to um, show we got our mess cleaned up here mostly. And uh, took some time. Started working on cleaning down the case, the one good case. Um, I did all of these parts here. Shift selector, um, all the backing plate, any of the stuff that was good. Um, I did a couple of the forks and some of the reverse gears, but that stuff's out of the way. But like I said, here's that. Um, just wanted to tag in on that. The other housing I pushed out there, I'm going to pull this retainer out of that one and then that that case is pretty much scrap too so we're down to this um i just pulled that one apart so i mean that's how you got to do that um i'm going to do another video on just pulling it apart so here we go so you don't damage the gears There's that. Now this next one is always tough for me to get off because I don't have the correct tool for that. So sometimes you can get it, sometimes you can't. Um, I've tried a bunch of different things. I'm not worried about these gears, so I'm just gonna go like this. take a look at what we got so we got a blocking ring and we have our gear with our needle set bearings in all right now here's the gear all right that I was hitting right here very minute right on that edge you can see where I pushed on that so if I needed to I could reuse this and file it a little bit all right, now, right here, there is another snap ring. Okay, stick that there. We can slide our synchronizer hub assembly off of here. There's our gear, a blocking ring. Our needles, our needles go inside the gear there. Now we have a completely stripped input shaft. Um, I can tell, look here. anything small enough so we had some silicone or something in here blocking that so I'll have to blow these holes out but uh, I'm gonna blow I'm gonna I'm gonna go wash this thing down and then I'm gonna blow these holes out and we're gonna inspect this shaft and see if it's any good we're gonna check up here for twist and just give everything a good look over and see if we have a good shaft all right, so we got this thing cleaned up, and there is no twists in this shaft. Um, everything actually looks very nice. I got all of the lubrication holes are clean. So, I mean, there's... There's, 
there's something that actually came out nice out of that one transmission. So this was the one that was in the middle that had the damaged case. And, um, man, that's pretty sweet. Um, it's not, it's not too often you get one that does not have any twist to it. Now, don't get me wrong. You can see a little bit of spot here from, from the, from the clutch disc, but that's pretty much normal. There's no, nothing's major on the splines here. I don't know, they could have made these a whole lot better, but there is stripping down a shaft. Um, whew. And uh, somebody needs one, I'm sure this thing will probably be going before I actually put this video up or it'll end up on eBay. But there we go. One beautiful shaft.